So now we should have built out all of your pages and are ready to launch the website to your audience and build an audience really nice and quickly um, and start getting some of those uh, sales in. So all your pages should be built, all the functionality and everything like that. Now, before we start, we need to check a few things. Make sure you pre proofread everything. Test for usability. Make sure that all the plugins and everything are working fine. Remember your contact form. Remember to make sure you set up that contact form to go to the correct email addresses that it needs to. Then test it for mobile devices so that it all looks great on mobile and iPads as well as on desktop. Double check all the URLs and make sure that all the links link to the right areas. And then check your site map. And we can check the site map dead simply by using the Rank Math SEO plugin that we installed as one of our essentials. We could go to the web address, go to slash sitemap dot xml and we can see that we'll have a page sitemap in there that's all we got you may have several if you put some blog posts in there will be a post sitemap a video a image depending on your business and what you've created there will be several ones there and you can click on any of the individual links and it'll show you what pages are in your sitemap uh, at the moment we obviously only have the two pages that we've built out. Then make sure you've got all your legal stuff in place, terms of service, uh, privacy policies, any disclaimers, stuff like that. And then stuff like your cookie policies and anything that you need to put in place depending on where you are in the world legally. And then remove any unwanted or unused plugins so that we free up some space and speed up the website. Then it's the exciting part because then we're going to be making an announcement to your website, um, to your audience and there's several little ways we can do that we can create a contact uh, a coming soon page um, which could have something like sign up to our newsletter or something like that on it before we actually launch then contact everybody you've got in your database old clients new clients friends family everybody and tell them that on the first of such and such a date we're going to be launching our new website please go and have a look give us any feedback any information that you think that we're missing, any information that you think is really good, and then you can keep improving the website for them. Use the social media teams as well. So you've set up your Facebook page or something like that, Twitter, Instagram, and just have a graphic made by a graphic designer. Um, cost you a few dollars or a few pounds to have a graphic that will take a screenshot, say, for example, of your new home page and they would design something coming soon and just a little bit of a teaser get people excited about your new products your new business or just a new website if you're an older business then run some uh, social media ads once you've actually gone live with it just trickle a few facebook ads and um, stuff like that promote your website on linkedin if you're a business owner you should be on linkedin linkedin's an incredible way to network between business to business development and you can really pick up loads of customers through there then write an announcement as a blog post so once your website's live write a blog post onto the website saying here's our new website this is the features that it's got this is where you access x y and z um i would then look at getting a press release done and um, that will help with some search engine optimization and some brand reputation as well uh, there's services out there that you can have that and then distribute it um, for a couple of hundred pound um, really really good and then involve any partners or clients so if you've got a partnership of one of your suppliers tell them and just ask them say hey any chance that you could on your social media just drop come and check out our supply uh, you know one of our uh, partners uh, new website you can find x y and z product of theirs on the website or whatever it might be and they might just help you boost a bit of those um, initial audience same as colleagues if you're employing staff or um, 
people like that, just ask them, go, hey, any chance you can jump on and uh, share, tell people that, hey, I've got this great job at XYZ Business, look at our new website, we'd appreciate if you could go on and have a look and give us any feedback. And finally, don't forget, that's not it. Once you've launched a website, you can't just sit back and hope that the money's going to come in. I've got a website. Why have I got no money? You know, they've still got to keep working on it, keep creating content, keep updating it and adding new pictures. Whatever business that you're in, just keep working on your website. It's going to become your main marketing tool. Then, once it is all launched, jump over to the next guide which is how to rank on Google on my website. And we'll start looking at how search engine optimization works and how we can start ranking that website into Google. I hope this whole course, lesson, guide, whatever you want to call it, has been helpful. That was the idea of it. I just wanted small business owners like yourself to be able to create a really nice looking website for their business and start promoting their brand. Don't forget, one last reminder, Check out the next guide, how to rank on Google.